One of the most important skills taught in algebra is systems of linear equations. And an easy way to learn how to do them well is to just pick a couple of points and let's call A and B as one line and C and D as another line. So to find the intersect of line AB with line CD, we need to find the equations of each line. So the most important thing with A or B C, D is their slopes because we're going to use the SI form of Y equals MX plus B. And so we know that the slope, the run is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the rise is actually a fall. It's going from Y is 1 to 0 and 1. So the fall is 2. And it's a fall. And we look and we see that A itself has Y of 1 and X is negative 3. So when we work this out, we see that B, this is 6 fourths, which reduces to 3 halves. So when we subtract 3 halves from both sides, we see that B equals negative one-half. So line AB is Y equals negative one-half reducing the negative two over four X minus one-half. And we look and we go, okay, that might be right. It looks like the line intersects AB at about a half, okay. So then we're going to do the same thing for CD. We're going to go, the run from C is 1, 2, 3. And this rises from negative 2. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a rise. And here we see that C, well, let's use D. It has both positive points. D, Y is 2, and X is simply 1. So for B, what do we have to add to four-thirds to get to six-thirds? Well, we have to add two-thirds. So this equation is simply Y equals four-thirds X plus two-thirds. Now when we solve these two equations together, because after all Y and Y must be only one point as these are not same slopes, we just solve negative one-half X minus one-half equals four-thirds X plus two-thirds. Clearing fractions using the LCM of six, which is of course prime two and prime three, we see that we have minus three X minus three equal to 8x plus 4. So moving our x's and subtracting our 4, we see that 11x equals negative 7, and therefore x is minus 7 elevenths, is minus 7 elevenths, Putting that into either equation, I'm going to choose this equation, we get y equals minus one-half, or negative one-half slope, times the point minus seven-elevenths, 
minus one half. Clearly this is seven over twenty two, one half being eleven over twenty two. Eleven minus seven is negative eleven plus seven rather is negative four over twenty two, which we're going to reduce to our final answer minus two over eleven as our y coordinate. The other thing that people want to know in algebra is a distance from a point to a line and let's choose our distance of D to our line AB. Now we know that the distance is perpendicular, the shortest distance between a line and a point is perpendicular. So when we take D and we put it into the perpendicular of minus one half which is the opposite reciprocal, so we know that D where y is 2, d perpendicular line a, b, d where y is 2 is equal to 2 over 1, the opposite perpendicular is the opposite reciprocal, times our 1, which means that since 2 is 2, that our b goes right through the intersection. So we now have two equations, so we have the fact that y equals our d equation 2x plus 0 has to equal our a b equation minus 1 half x minus 1 half, and when we add a half to both sides, half x, of course x being 2 being 4 over 2, that gives us 5 halves x is equal to minus one-half. Multiplying by the reciprocal will give us two-fifths times five. That gives us one x. And then simplifying before you multiply, we find that x for this point is minus one-fifth. So our x coordinate for the d perpendicular, d perpendicular a, b, our x coordinate is minus one-fifth, and our y-coordinate, since y equals 2x, is just minus two-fifths. So now we just need to find the distance from this line, intersection, point, and d itself, which is one, two. And applying the distance formula, we see that the distance from one to minus one-fifth one being five-fifths is six-fifths, and the distance from two to negative two-fifths, two being ten-fifths, is twelve-fifths, and applying the distance formula where we take the square root of their squares, we see that our value of the distance is 36 plus 144, 180, so our distance is equal to the square root of 180, and of course 5 squared, 5 squared comes out as a 5. 18 has a 9 in it, and also 210, so there's actually a 36 in it, and so we notice that 36 comes out as a 6, and it's over the 5, and what stayed in? 36 times what? Makes 180? Oh yeah, 5, and that's our final distance.